Hello and welcome back. Today's video, as you can tell, is a unboxing and a try on haul for a collaboration with Victoria Beckham and Mango. I have been dying to try on this collection because there's some really, really nice pieces in there. I only selected a few. I didn't want to go a bit OTT with buying like almost everything that I didn't really need. So there were a few things that were on my mind, but just the classic pieces that can take me through year after year again my whole motto for future purchases is that i don't want to waste money on items that are just seasonal i just want to collect pieces that are timeless and victoria beckham does that so well so without further ado let's get into it so if you have been watching my videos and haven't subscribed i would love it if you do please hit the bell notification that way you won't miss out on any new videos and if you subscribe it will mean so much to me it really helps my channel so without further ado let's get into the video so as you can see i've got one two three four pieces and you're probably wondering are you only going to show just four pieces these four pieces can be worn in so many different ways and i feel like you get so much more wear out of them so the first piece I have here is this gorgeous striped shirt. But before I do, I'm going to share with you just a little bit more about the collection in itself. So it's a big collection. It includes dresses, skirts, some accessories as well, like jewelries and stuff. But I was more keen on her tailoring of the items because that's what she's so good at. The whole collection has been inspired by a French movie called La Piscine. And it has Jane Birkin. Now, when everybody thinks of Jane Birkin, they think of the Birkin bag. And if you think of the Birkin bag, you think of a classic, timeless, sophisticated, and that is the whole collection in itself. So as you know, Victoria Beckham is so well known for her tailored chic pieces. When she does her tailoring, there's nothing dated about it. So you could have that blazer, that suit in your closet for years and years and years. And that is what I wanted. And that is what I want to build my wardrobe on. So let's just get into it because I'm getting a bit excited sharing all of this information. Okay, so let's start off with the first piece I have, which is this blue pinstriped shirt. It's got white stripes with a slight black um, lining on the white. I'll bring this a little bit closer so you can see. How gorgeous is that? It's got a little cutout at the front. And the pinstripe, as I said, it's got the black little lines going down. And it's a boxy fit with the cuffs like this. And the small details on here. Look at that. It just gives it like that, just a different look. And it's got seams going down the back, as you would expect on a shirt. And it is cropped. And it comes up to your hips. And you can pair these up with a pair of jeans wide leg trousers so if this was just your normal shirt it'd be slightly boring but because of the cutout it just gives it that different edge to it the cropped length gives it that modern twist and you could pair this up with like high-waisted trousers which is just perfect and this design i feel is so victoria because it's got that masculine and the feminine touch to it as well and that's what i like sometimes i just want to wear like your boyfriend or your husband's jumper jacket shirts or jeans and i like that look this shirt i got a uk 10 which is a medium and the price i will put on here somewhere and everything is still current in stores so if you wanted to grab this shirt it's still online and there are a lot of sizes so karen millen have their statement buttons and i feel like victoria could do something very similar which would just elevate the look slightly. But overall, I think this shirt is just a beautiful piece to wear whenever. I mean, timeless and forever piece, definitely. Okay, now for the next piece, which is absolutely beautiful. This is a cropped trench coat and it's got several different layers here. So this you would expect on your standard trench coat your little flap over thing, the lapel front, and the cuffs, and the details of the cuffs is very nice. It's got, bring it forward, it's got the gathering of the arms here. So it's got the detailed belt hooks at the front, but not at the back. And this is what the back looks like, which is really lovely. And the color is like an off cream but it's got like a greeny tinge to it. I think, I don't know if that's showing up in the camera, but 
but this is in a size medium. And again, I will list the price on the side here, but let's try this on because I haven't tried it on yet. So I feel like a trench always elevates your outerwear and wow, it's so beautiful. I love how it just, the gathering of the material on the arm and the length is a big thing for me. I hate it when they come up up to here. So, so long arms are the best. And this is just supposed to sit loosely. And look at that. It looks great. I would wear it like this. And the fit is just perfect. And the linen is really soft. And I just love the way it just flows on the body. That's what it looks like from the back. So let me know if you guys would style this a little bit differently, but jeans over a dress, I think, oh my goodness, I love that. The whole loose, unbothered, casual, like you haven't really made an effort, but you really have. This jacket does that. Oh my goodness. I love it. I mean, first of all, when I saw the color on its own, it did look a little bit green, like the undertone slightly green, but... Pairing it up with something a little bit more darker underneath, it stands out so much more. I love this. I love it. And you really do not have to do anything to these. You just let them just sit as they're meant to. I wouldn't tie this up at all. And I don't know, is there any pockets? Oh no, there's no pockets. But does that really matter? Not really, because my trousers have pocket and really actually use pockets they just look good don't they guys if you could do me a favor if you could rate which one you like that would help me decide if I should keep it or not but this I definitely think I should I don't have anything like this but my only concern is will it go out of trend will the short trench go out of trend I don't know what do you think so Victoria Beckham has something similar um in leather and it I think retails around seven eight hundred pounds this is linen and the, although the price is a little bit expensive for mango, I still think it's definitely worth. Right, so let's try on the next one. This is stunning, beautiful. The next piece is the blazer and I think everybody, if they want to buy something from mango, has to be the blazer. And the reason being is because the whole tailoring aspect of it and they've got a nice little twist to your standard blazer. This particular one is 100% linen and it's got the lapel front. It's got a hidden button so that when you close it up, you can't actually see the button itself. It's got um, pockets, but I wouldn't open the pockets. I don't think you're meant to, or are you? I have no idea, but I'd leave them as they are. So let me show you this. From inside, it has this linen lining and then the lining stops halfway. So the fabric is allowed to breathe a little bit more from this length all the way down. And if you turn it around, it has an adjustable strap so that you could cinch it in as much as you want or leave it loose. I've got makeup mark on here, I can't believe that. But let's see what this looks like on. I do have a linen blazer which I picked up from New Look last year which is really nice but very casual looking. This, the arms again, I love the long arms. This is so much more structured and look at the shoulder pads on the side. Wow, this looks expensive. So I'll show you what this looks like buttoned up and I haven't really tied it up much from the back so if I tighten it more it just cinches you in slightly but I wouldn't wear it like that I would wear it cinched in from the back so that this remains open a bit more from the front and like this this is really really comfortable but when I'm looking at the outfit I'm looking at how many different ways can I wear this this with a silk long dress any color this is like just thrown over the shoulder or for a casual look, just t-shirt and jeans. And how put together would you look with just this blazer? And it's just the um, shoulder pads that are doing it for me. <laughs> I love that. 
don't have anything in my wardrobe like this and the size is just perfect. I think they can be a bit tricky with the sizes but this one is a medium and I love this. So again, jeans, t-shirt, this, dress, perfect. So I'm going to try these on with a white pair of trousers and just a little bandeau top underneath but how cool. I love this with just the all white look. So this is another shirt I wanted to show you. It's an oversized slim striped print with a slit on the back. It's supposed to be very oversized, but with the uh, gathering at the front, you can tighten it a little bit and it retails at 90 pounds. And I think it just gives that masculine shirt, the feminine touch. And that's the end of my video. I really hope you enjoyed viewing this collection. I know I have, and I really love every single piece that I have in here. Hopefully I'll see you guys again next week. Bye.